it is a place that people are on their own to fend for themselves. Basically, it's bare survival situation in Haiti. This picture was a central market was burning about two weeks into the, you know, after the earthquake happened. And there was this, this lone woman in this kind of desolation and devastation that was literally taking a bucket of uh, water and trying to put out a fire. And she was just doing this repeatedly and repeatedly. And I just kind of like the uh, scene. I mean, to me, it sums up a lot of what happened there. It's just people are completely alone to fend for themselves in a place that was just totally destroyed. You look at that and you go, well, you're putting out the fire, but what's there? You know, in the face of this earthquake, they're still going, surviving, and I think that's what I was trying to show. This photograph shows um, a young boy receiving food from the Argentinian branch of the UN. They were giving this out in people's shirts. They didn't have any containers to give the people the food, so they were just having them line up and hold their shirt out. And so if they didn't have a shirt, they weren't, you know, how did you put the food? And people were really angry and really miffed. You think there might be a better way, but I don't know. You know, sometimes, I mean, that's just what they had, and they had to give the food out. A lot of people felt humiliated by that. Like in here, take carry your shirt back a half a mile to your house. How do women do that? And it just becomes kind of not very well organized. But, you know... Hey man, you know, it's not easy. The whole thing isn't easy. It was like this kind of battle royale in some of these instances. And the police were <laughs> totally outmanned and not professional at all. I mean, they had killed a number of people, just shot them dead. I think the Western media at some level came in and um, helped in a way to keep people from being killed because when we were there after a while the police started to become cognizant that it wasn't a good idea to shoot people. The U.S. military has a pretty good presence there at that point and it was a really weird weird moment. The police were trying to grab control of this corner and not, and not grab control they were just trying to like create some some control and space over the street. And there was this crowd of kids there and they were, at the one moment they were kind of jeering and cheering all at the same time. It was a really interesting kind of moment. This was the government who was throwing the bodies into these piles a little ways out of town. They'd also dug some mass graves where they were dumping them. There were babies and pregnant people and um, bodies and you know men and everybody. It was it was you know really. I just kept on thinking, you know, my family. Like if that happened and then my mom just thrown on a pile and you know sad. But that's you know I don't know. If that had to, I don't think it had to be that way. Um, but that's the way it was. <laughs>